Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm Black Operation 1 and this is Treasure Hunter Simulator uh, Episode 4 um, Last episode uh, Oh yeah, last episode we were at the castle And uh, yeah, we had kind of a little bit of a rant, didn't we? Actually thinking about it, we had a little bit of a rant um, I kind of think I... Um, yeah, I kind of think I, um, you know, kind of overdid it slightly, maybe. But it's the game says one thing here and gives you another. So, but either way, we are going to continue on. Okay, so we need to get the next um, beeper metal detector. I can remember the bloody name. Then. The next metal detector. Um, no, not that one. This one we got in it. No, this one here. Ha ha ha. This one here. Here we need prestige four. So we need to do some jobs. So jobs. Take a photo of the village. That will give us prestige. Um, I take a photo. Uh, fine. Take a picture of there, there, and there. Okay. Let's do. So we're gonna go and take some pictures. Let's go back to uh, Poland and get these pictures. Okay, so we are here, we're at the crossroads, got the castle up there and the village down here, so we're going to come down here. Um, yeah, you know, game's beautiful nonetheless, even though, you know, the items don't make sense, but it's still a beautiful game if you like a game to be beautiful. Uh -huh. Oh, there you be. So, yeah, so my main thing is to try and find some war memorabilia. I don't want no medieval stuff all the time. It's nice, don't get me wrong, but it's not what we are here for. And, okay, we got a tool here. Uh, so this is a... This is the head of a cold chisel. I think we've had one of these before. Tool made out of tempered steel to cut metal as opposed to a hot chisel. This has been used to cut metal that is already cold. Uh, they have also been used for larger engravings such as designations on large metal parts. Metal parts. Uh, this one is like from the 1950s or 60s. A commonly ma manufactured tool of no significance. So that's just a chisel to inscribe plates and stuff. Cool. It's cool but not what we're looking for. Now we are heading down here to the village obviously to take our first photo. Then we got to look at the other photo job to see what we have to do for that. Ah. And here it goes. Piece of junk. So what we need the metal, this is why we really want to get that metal detector that goes deeper. I really think if we can go deeper, we will find uh, some much better items, honestly. Ah, oh, really? So I'm going to have to go all the way around here. Then in here. But first of all, I'm going to take the photo. So I need a good camera. Uh, that doesn't seem right. What? Hang on. Fuck's sake. Take a photo of the village. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Take a photo. Are there plants? Oh, it's the plant I'm taking the bloody photo of, isn't it? Okay, so where I was, it didn't. Yeah. Okay, so that's right, that's done there. No, I enjoy this game. It's, a, it's, it's like I said, it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful game. It's very peaceful as well. You know, sometimes I actually forget that I'm actually recording this. It's just quite a peaceful, chillaxing game. Yeah. So apparently we need to go up there, take a photo of the village. So that's fine. But we're gonna have a little, you know, look around here. So this is going to be behind this fence again.
Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a saw blade, okay. Couldn't quite make out what it was first, but it's just a saw blade. There's nothing special about it. We've got one of these before, and it is really poor condition. Really poor condition. I'm not going to go through the items we've already seen, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to find some new items and... Uh, oh, uh, beehives. I'm trying to find some new items, some exciting items. Yeah, I'll try and learn more about this game and that. I feel like I'm floating here. Why am I going so fast? What? Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but I just because I was flying then. Clearing up the junk. Okay, so we're here, and this is where we're going to take the photo of the castle, um, the village, too. Sorry. There's that one. Nicely done. Quest completed. Now we need to find these other two plants. This one here might take a while because, of course, there's plants everywhere. And we've got to find the right one. You can't just find one and take a photo of it. It's got to be particular ones. So you got a lot of ruins around here, but you're not getting, we don't get any... Okay, so we're back at the start now. Yeah, okay, right. So, yeah, I'm going to go... Oh, hang on. I've got a... What? Did I just get a... Okay, this looks like a coin. It looks like a ducat. It is a ducat. Oh, that is quite a nice ducat. All right, then that is yeah, that's exciting. Yes, it's not from World War One or World War Two. It's er, uh, yeah, it's earlier than that. <coughs> um. But still, it was a very nice find. I, I do like finding my coins around here. This is nice. Especially little old cats like that. But again, we are kind of coming around to the beginning of the map here. And I haven't found any of these plants. I don't, don't, don't like doing these plant ones and stuff. Just like trying to do the main missions, but we need... You need to do them for the prestige to unlock the detectives, you know? Oh, hello. Ah, oh, what a surprise. I've got to come up here. What? Out of the way! Okay, I don't have to go up there. Ah, it is a it is a find, but it's not worth shouting about. Okay, so we're back at the office. We have found some items. Uh, thanks for finding your prestige levels, Chris. Nice. So now we can get the next detector, so means we can go back there. Um, but let's have a look at the findings we just found. So we've got a destroyed hand prosthesis, which is like I said, the Captain Hooky thing. We're going to sell that. We're keeping that. Now, this is the second one we have. Let's have a look at the first button we have. There's the button, first button. Now, that's a tolerable, which means it's so much better. Um, I'm still going to keep it, I think. I'm going to sell that. I'm going to sell that. Uh, I've still got that helmet at the moment. Uh, until we find a better one. Um, but yeah, that's going back to the previous episode where Rant started off. <laughs> Ah, oh, God, that was a hilarious one. 
Right, let's buy the next detector, which means we can go deeper, which is, I'm hoping, is going to help us find some more loot, because it does say there's 14% chances on the medium in small and medium, middle, sorry, in small and medium uh, thing there, so uh, not enough cash, oh crud. Okay, we're going to have to go, um, let's go... Let's this this let's go back to the Gettysburg. Uh, let's go back to Gettysburg Square in Pennsylvania, and see if we can find some items in there. I know I could sell some, but I don't want to sell some. Yeah, you know, some things I want to sell, some things I don't, and I really don't want to sell that. So let's try this new detector here, shall we? And see if we find anything decent. No musket balls. No junk. And it says there's like a 20% chance to find some small items in, in the middle and 15% uh, chance of thinking, finding medium sized items in the middle layer. So we are into something here. Oh, oh, there it is. Here we go again. Okay. Another beep. Oh, there it is. Okay. I swear I searched that area, but okay. Oh, it's a padlock. Okay. Oh, that looks quite an old padlock. Well, it does say old padlock, I suppose. It's, you know, good condition, made of iron. Okay, so this padlock is not as old as it seems, but all indicators such as the metal composition, the manufacturing process, it's relatively new, not older than a decade or two. It is a mass produced padlock with only a design that just it might be from the 18th century. Oh, so. Worth shit. Okay, so I've been wandering around and all I'm finding is junk. I found one fairly good item, which is another one of those World War I, World War II uniform buttons. But it was in shitty condition again. And I found a, a very, very damaged musket ball. So apart from that, all the rest has been nails and junk. And again, junk. So we pay a thousand and got to uh, Prestige 4 to get a metal detector that's meant to be better. Uh, but it turns out it's no better than the basically the first one metal detector you, you have, the default one. Uh, so yeah, so let's go back to the office, sort through the shit we got. So, so make some money, go back to Poland. So yeah, I don't know if resetting the area spawns in different loot. Um, we will, of course, try that once we complete this one. Um, but if it does, then good. But I don't, I don't, I don't know how that works. In all honesty, I don't know if it just resets back to the shit that was there, or whether it resets um, 
and gives you some di different loot. I don't know because I don't know what I don't know what kind of items are in this game. Of course. Um, But yeah, uh, we're going to fucking sell that thing. Keeping that one. Okay, so we have 159 Oh my god, really? $159 there now, so we can go uh, back to Poland. We're going to go straight up to the castle. Really should look for some jobs, shouldn't we? Shit. Okay, so we found something interesting here. This is def this this is definitely interesting. This is what we've been kind of looking for. It's an old World War Two helmet. <clears throat> okay, so this is much much better find. Um, are you gonna help me? I you gonna identify? No, have I got to grab it in some certain place? Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, this British helmet is the helmet steel Mark One. It was a standard helmet of the British Army in the start and the start of World War Two. It's based on the normal Mark One without the asterisk from World War One, uh, and has been introduced in, in 1938. This usually will this usually will refit we this usually sorry not this this is why I'm reading it wrong sorry these usually we refitted World War One models. Okay. Uh, okay. The okay refitted World War One models with a new lining, improved chin strap. This particular one, f not from 1938, but rather 1949-41, has been used by British units fighting in the Northern African campaign. Okay. So, very nice item. Very nice item indeed. Um, I'm not complaining about that. It's tolerable. It's made out of iron. It's rare. Not worth much. Which is a little bit surprising, but never mind. You know, any World War II memorabilia is pretty pricey. Um, two things. One, this is not correct. As in, like, these usually we refitted. That's not... What is that? That's not English. And secondly, uh, what is a British helmet... Uh, used in the North African campaign uh, in Poland for. A little uh, brain tickler there for you, ladies and gentlemen. If you can answer that question for me, then that would be much appreciated. And then i got to go... Where are you going to take Where are you take me? Where are you taking me? Okay, we found a another medieval helmet, unlike on the previous episode. Nice find. This is a much better condition. Um, and this is where, like, the ranting started. Oh, come on. Identify. Holy shit. Uh, so this is good. Uh, Rarity is exceptional, which is, you know, which is, uh, def well, in other words, keep it, which we will. Uh, much better condition than the other one, which is good. Oh, um, actually, I forgot to mention, uh, after this... Come on, where are you? After this find, um, I will explain about our job. I forgot to mention about the job. Ugh. Junk, thank you. Okay, so the job, I went back and got the job. And the job is Russian Grenade. Okay, find the Russian hand grenade model 1912. 
All right, then we're gonna. It's up at the castle. That's obvious. Um, I'm not gonna go too much on the photo. To be honest with you, I need to make it a little bit of a challenge. Um, but of course, when I was going back and walking up to the castle, I kind of thought to myself. But then, that kind of makes it nullify. It nullifies that because of pure and simple fact. Um, I found that World War II helmet. Um, but then that's the only World War II item we found, or war, World War, one of the World War items we found in this area when it's meant to be a full of Russian uh, military, you know, Russian army memorabilia from World War One. It's supposed to be here anyway. And we've only found that World War Two helmet, but that was completely the wrong, you know, completely the wrong uh, army, completely the wrong area. But never mind. But then I thought to myself, what's coming up here? Um, they they tell you what these places, you know, what kind of loot is supposed to be in these places. Um, and you go there, you know, you don't find none. You try your hardest to look around, buy new detectors, etc. But then I was thinking, well, I think really the loot you find with the detector, like we are now, nine times out of ten is just random. And, well, not 9 times 10, t 10 out of 10 is random. Where is this freaking item? It's here somewhere. Uh, 10 out of 10 is all random. But uh, I would say actually 8 out of 10, it's something, nothing to do with the area you're in. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking, well, what I think it is, is that loot you find with your metal detector when you're walking around, okay, I think that is just some randomly generated loot just to keep your interest peaked into the game, because you're wondering what you're going to find next, um, but the only thing you actually find to do with the area, so like, it's supposed to be, like I said, Russian World War 1 slash World War 2 memorabilia, um, and the only time we're really going to find something Russian World War 1 and World War 2 maybe, is actually in the mission, which is the legendary item. So I think each map has got one legendary item, yeah, that is to do with um, what you're really here for in the first place, if you know, if, if you know what I mean. You know, I, I, I know I've kind of put it a little bit ass backwards and all this, but if you know what I mean, um, I think that is. Uh, this is a 50 BMG uh, ammo case uh, from World War 2. Again, yes, it is World War memorabilia from World War Two, and it's a bullet casing, so any any faction could use that. So I can't really say anything about that. But it's like you know, we found a British World War Two helmet. And this area is supposed to be only known for Russian forces. Oh, come on. Thank you. Okay, so we got another medieval helmet. See, again, it's just... It's just randomised stuff, isn't it, you know? This is a nice one, actually. It's something we haven't got before. So this is like the previous helmet we found, I think. Yeah, like the previous helmet we found, but this is what they call the... Uh, so basically this front part, because it lifts up and down. I can't remember what they called it now. Uh, but this type of helmet's called a stallet and dates back to the 15th century, based on shape and design. In particular stallet, it's either German or Italian origin. <laughs> Sorry about that. Stallets were invading Italy in the early 15th century were invented in Italy in the early 15th century. The idea is basically to get rid of the visor while still retaining a solid protection from the head. Oddly enough, in the late 15th century, Silets again featured visors, making them almost indistinguishable from closed helmets. So yeah, so that is basically like the second part of the two helmets from the one we changed just a minute ago. That was nice. Uh, that's the second part of it, basically. One with a visor, one without.
<clears throat> Straight into some freaking junk. Oh, I wonder what this could be, ladies and gentlemen. Wonder what this could be. I wonder if it's a grenade. Oh, yes, it is a grenade. Okay. Yeah, looks nice. You know, looks really nice. Really good condition. Really cool item. Really cool item. But this is what I'm saying. I'm not ranting. Or raving, or moaning, but then how exciting would that have been? Because I, I didn't use a picture to find that. I went around the castle with my metal detector, picking up every little trail, and I came across it. Okay, now if I found that without knowing what it was, yeah, that would make me hook onto the game straight away. I'd be like, "Fucking shit up! Look what we found—a grenade. That's fucking awesome." But because I knew it was a grenade, from start, it's like, oh, there's the grenade. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So anyway, let's read about it. So it's a legendary item, yeah, we know that. Normal, metal, yeah, good condition, value, prices. Era 1912 to 1914. This is an early Russian high explosive hand grenade. A so-called stick grenade due to its design of a metal head attached to a wooden stick. This model in particular has been also called the lantern head, referring to the square head design. A design that stands out among all the hand grenades of the World Wars, making model 1912 a very memorable one and sought after by collectors. Okay, fair enough. Nice description. Um, but yeah. We are done here, so let's return back to the office. Okay, so we're back at the office. Like I said, I'm not going to nitpick. It's a, brilliant, it's a nice game. Loads of potential to this game. Just I wish there was more of a mystery to the game. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, so what are we going to do here? Scottish Coast. Oh, look, we've unlocked the new one because we've got a legendary item. Okay, that's fine. Let's go down and have a look at the items we've found. So we've got the legendary, we've got this destroyed salad, which we are going to keep. We're going to get rid of that. Um, we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to keep the rest. Okay, so we've got a World War II British helmet. Uh, we've got a Barbuta. Uh, we've got the salad. See, this is what I'm saying. See, this, these, t is it these two? No, it's not these two, is it? Uh, oh, no, I got rid of the other one. I had to get rid of the other one. Well, it could be these two. I swear it wasn't. Yeah, no, it might be these two. Yeah, it could be these two, actually. I think these two are like, you know, brother and sister, so to speak. Um, okay, so we've now finished... Uh, we've now finished uh, Poland, and we're going off to the coast of Portsoy in Scotland. Um, but that is going to have to be on the next... Oh, fucking 200... So we jump from $80 to $200. Oh, shit. Alright. Better be some freaking good loot here. Better be some freaking good loot here. But we're going to do that on the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. I know I've had ranting again. Christ, I know. I'm a nitpicker. But still, I hope you enjoyed. If you have, smash the like button. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more content like this or any other content on my channel, please hit the subscribe button and show your support for it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, so, yeah. So, remember to have fun, keep gaming, and I will see you on the next video, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye.